China. Excellent. But again, my name is Juraitis Montalvo. I'm the head of executive director. Uh, and, and we are very happy to have you here at the at this uh, webinar. Uh, and uh, I mentioned to you in the invitation the webinar's objectives of or this presentation objectives are emphasize at, uh, the access to online services totally free of charge available through the Digital Plaza to our member institutions like you. Identify new services that might be able to be added or to be offered through the Virtual Plaza services that you have at your institutions, and also get your input to coordinate an event with students, organizations, leaders at your institution or at your region, uh, whatever you think is, is more uh, more a, a nice, uh, available for you. So let me start, first of all, talking about who we are and head stands for Hispanic Education and Technology Services. And we are the first bilingual consortium dedicated to serving the higher education needs of the fast-growing Hispanic community. And we started in 1993. We were funded in, 19, in the year 1993, and our focus is on promoting the innovative use of technology to support access to higher education and retention among Hispanics. Uh, so far, our members are 45 universities or colleges located at Puerto Rico, where our headquarters are Florida, Kansas, New Jersey, New York, Missouri, Pennsylvania, Texas, Massachusetts, California, Colombia. And we also have corporate partners and, and nonprofit organizations related to us, like Blackboard, Educational Testing Services, Ramona Musel and Associates, Oracle, Cengage. Grupo Parada, Transport System, and Rosetta Stone. Uh, if uh, our head member profile for last academic year was a total of uh, student enrolled is in all of our member institutions, uh, more than half a million, uh, half a million students, and out of these more than half a million students, 50 percent of them where it uh, are located in the United States, followed by Puerto Rico. And um, out of these more half a million students that are enrolled in our member institution, uh, 60 of them are Hispanic. Uh, talking about heads again, our mayor authority are the heads board of directors, which as uh, which is constituted by the president or the designated representative at all member institutions. And this is a photo to, uh, taken uh, at the NCC in New York in one of our board meetings. And the board meetings are like these. Uh, are at the board meet twice a year to establish and monitor the organization and also identify common needs and interest in order to continue developing uh, new services. Our mission is to promote, support, and increase the capabilities of member institutions in order to enhance Hispanic Latino student success and opportunity in higher education and how the board uh, in, this, uh, in our strategic plan uh, established to do that. We are trying to provide in training and support for faculty, staff, and students from our member institutions. Another way to accomplish our mission is to facilitating, promoting, and nurturing strategic alliances among heads members and academic, government, and corporate sectors, supporting also the integration of new educational education technologies, excuse me, and finally identify and that gathering sector support and resources from our member institutions. Our portal or web page is head.org. And as you may see in the main menu, uh, in, the, in the bar that is uh, blue or violet, <laughs> uh, you will see that we have uh, uh, about us, oh, information about heads. Also, we have uh, a section that is called What's New. And this is divided into different areas. First of all, what's new regarding heads? 
as an organization and also what's new regarding the news that are provide uh, are provide to us from our member institutions to publish and promote among all, all our membership. So re uh, taking into consideration that if it's something that is happening at your institution that you want us to help us promote or, or publish, please send it and we have a space for, for, for this. Uh, to do that as part of your benefit as a member institution. Also, we have a, a menu called Our Services, and there you can find a summary of all of our services, and also you will find the catalog and brochures uh, that you can download it and, and uh, in order for you to uh, continue promoting and taking advantage of our services and getting more information and details about those. Also, we have a section of regarding our membership and this is the in, in that session we have all the profile of our member institutions and also instructions and, and more information on how to become a member for those who may be interested in joining HEP. And finally we have a direct link to virtual to the virtual plaza. I'm talking about the virtual plaza, let's talk about our online services and those are located a in our center, uh, the Bridge of Plaza is the center for academic and for resources for faculty administrators and students. And although you can go through head and click on the Bridge of Plaza menu, you can also go directly to the URL virtualplaza.org. Our Bridge of Plaza uh, is divided in two different placitas. The first one is uh, the faculty and administrator placita, and the second one is the student placita. Um, we have ex estimated that if each member, that member institutions want to replicate the services that we provide through the Bridge of Plaza, they have uh, to invest more than $100,000. And uh, again, what we want to gather here at the Bridge of Plaza are services that can complement the ones that you have already in place services that can support your not only your student but also your faculty and administrator. And let me explain a little bit more about our services. Let's start with our students because of course our students are the main goal of heads and uh, one of the main services and this is an exclusive service for our member institutions is the testing and education research center database where your students can go and uh, practice admissions, exams totally free of charge, exams like GRE, LSAT, English, think at the ones that are mentioned there. Also, uh, they have uh, a, not only the test, but also the ebooks that they can download it and, and get prepared for the test. And the only thing they need to know in order to take advantage of this database, totally free of charge, is to know where to find it. Uh, we encourage you not only uh, to talk about HES and the student placita, but also uh, take the link, put the link, or or, a, or include uh, the link of the Plaza or the logo with the, with the link to the page in any place that you think that your students can see it. And please uh, help us promote uh, this service. They only need to know where to find it. And when they click on the virtual plaza, they go to the student placita, and then they click under the uh, on the name of on the uh, of, on the name of your institution, since each institution has a different account, because that account helps us to track the the services that have been provided to your institution and we are able through this uh, exclusive account to give you reports of how many users are using these services and what specific services they are uh, getting from the database. And then enter the access code. Uh, when e every time a new member joins us, we establish the account, please let us know. If you, don't re you haven't received the flyer with the information, with the code, uh, you can either send us an email to info at heads.org or uh, write on the chat that you need your code so we can send it to you uh, right away the, the flyer with the information. 
So you can definitely come take advantage of this right away. Uh, if you have any doubts or you want me to talk more about this, please let me know. Also, let me tell you that not only this database has uh, the, the practice test, but also has uh, what they call the Family Policy Planning Center. Well, they, in that place, they have a scholarship uh, search featuring more than 8 billion uh, in available scholarships. Also, have a resume builder and also uh, the online books to get prepared to the test. So, I encourage you to browse this database since you are supposed to well, you have the code and please help us promote this uh, among your students and also uh, some institutions also uh, use this service to give uh, in, uh, as a service as to the community if you have an open house or in or also to recruit students you can definitely give the access to this database to, to any anybody because the access to each institution is only also, another service that HEDS provides as an exclusive uh, service for our members is the Career Transition Database. And in this, this one is uh, tailored to help students or anybody who get access to the database to look for jobs, internships, also prepare resumes, practice an interview in English since they, since they have a very nice interview simulator. And also, they provide a lot of information about careers and everything. Again, the way to access this database is uh, click on the career transition under the student placita, look for the career transition link. When you get there, you look for the name of your institution and then enter the access code. Please let me know again if you don't have the code. It's the same for uh, for the code for the testing and education and for the career transition. Okay. I continue. Uh, in order, uh, one of the ideas that the board has gave to us to from help promote this service is uh, include a banner like the one that we have in the head's website uh, to put it in any place on your website that you think that the students can notice it. So they can go right there, click when they need the code, and then provide a very simple information. And when they submit the name, the email, uh, whatever else you want to ask for them, uh, they submit that information. They receive automatically an auto reply either to his email or right there in the screen with the link and the code uh, the, to your account uh, of your institution. So they can. Right away, take advantage, and they don't have to depend on going or calling any office to get the call. In that way, the students can go directly to the website. So let us know if you haven't received the art, the banner, and if you are interested in in uploading this on your website, so we can send it to you right away. Another service that hits provide are the bilingual entrepreneurship courses. Those are non credit courses with videos in English and Spanish, and this is thank, thank, thanks to the collaboration of Cookson University, one of our head member institutions in Pennsylvania. This is a, when you go to these uh, bilingual entrepreneurship courses, you will see this page, and you have to click in the first link that says, after the complete uh, list of online courses, click here. When you click there, you will see the whole a, a, a list of different topics of the courses, and then when you click in the one you are interested in, you will see courses like this, uh, or videos like these are videos, all of them, in English and Spanish, very easy to navigate in a self-paced self modality. And again, this is an ex uh, excellent service to help not only your student, but anybody who may want to take advantage to be and um, do their own business or get prepared to uh, uh, work on, on this entrepreneurship uh, course. Also, in the Student Placita, we have uh, services like Student Readiness, and those are tools and resources for the online environment. And those tools and resources can assist Hispanic students, and not only Hispanic, but all of them uh, in meeting their academic goals in traditional 
because we also have a session for traditional uh, environments and um, and the online learning environments and help you determine help excuse me help your students determine whether traditional education or or, or online learning is suitable for them and these uh, uh, sections include tools to guide your students in the selection of an online program strategies to determine your level or their level level of readiness to study online and several free online courses and more to help them uh, get uh, more acquainted with this environment. And the same with the traditional environment. Uh, also, uh, besides the $8 billion that are available in scholarships at the Chesapeake Education Reference Center that I just mentioned, okay, can you hear me well? Uh, now, and I think the audio is getting better. Hope so. These uh, uh, financial aid are resources and scholarships from heads member institutions and other private organizations. Um, this is an opportunity to promote and recruit students through our website, free of charge. Please check this page, and if you have your institution have a scholarship that is not listed in this page, please send us the information. Send us the information so you can uh, definitely uh, take advantage of this. Let me see if I can uh, better. Okay. I'm lowering, uh, hiring the audio to see if you can hear me better. Okay. Continuing with the presentation, uh, as I mentioned to you, one of the objectives is helping you to uh, or giving or uh, trying to identify with you ways that we can impact students directly. Uh, in Puerto Rico, the way we see it was through uh, the head student leadership showcase that we offered. The first one was offered in September 2014, and we received that event uh, last September 2015. And the goal of this event is to connect with the section of institution students in Puerto Rico. The objective at that time was to identify leadership from student organizations and innovative student projects, promote head services among students and request their support in forwarding or helping us promoting among their peers, outreach for great sponsorship, and replicate events in the USA. Uh, we are happy to tell you that we were able to a deep day event in September 2014 and repeated this year. Those are pictures of what we have here in Puerto Rico, the master of ceremony in the left, and then the general manager of Microsoft in Puerto Rico, who was the main speaker. And also we have a, a, a welcoming message, well, a message from the Secretary of State in Puerto Rico. And this time, the event, the first event was only half a day, but the second event in Puerto Rico was a whole day event, and we divided in different uh, sessions. And as you may see in the first pictures, we have groups with students, that our students who are part of the Heads Advisory Committee, that is one of the results of the first event. Those students uh, were the ones who presented Head Services. And also we have another, uh, is experts in different topics who were able to uh, also give a lot of uh, very useful information uh, to our students. And these different sections were uh, full of students and, and the evaluations of, uh, that we recall from this, compiled from this event were excellent. So we are very happy for that and we want to continue doing this not only in Puerto Rico but also trying to impact students in the United States. In New York, that is the second place uh, besides Puerto Rico that has, has, has more institutions uh, together. Uh, we have nine member institutions in New York. We were able to uh, use the facilities of both of Manhattan Community College in last April and we held an event for them. And it was those are the pictures, and you can go to our news to see what happened there. It was an excellent event too. But we want to continue for, uh, doing this in other regions, and we need your help 
in terms of that, how do you think, do you think we can uh, continue impacting students since this is the main goal of it? Let's talk now. Uh, if you have any doubts, let me know something else that you may want to know about the student placita. If not, I will continue uh, with the faculty and administrator placita. And let me uh, tell you that as a result of the grant that we received in 2000, uh, 2000 of the U.S. Department of Education, we create collaboration and interinstitutional model for collaboration initiatives and all this information, you can see that in our uh, virtual placita. So you can, if you may want, you can replicate this model or use as a guide. Uh, also, as part of this uh, grant, we also developed a learning object tools and resources, and some of the ones in English are primary partition online, time management strategy for online courses and tutoring in the online classroom. This one is one of the most popular ones. Uh, it's, a, it's a very uh, common need or issue in our memory. And also, we have a repository of which 2.0 tools and resources, almost all of them totally free of charge, that you may go and browse and see. As you may see, uh, you can see different topics. Uh, and we uh, uh, have uh, divide, we have divided the, the, the resources uh, by topic. So you can easily find whatever you may want to look for it. And finally, in the faculty and administrator placita, we have additional areas for Hispanic education and research, including friends in higher ed and also on system education, and also a, a place for the administra uh, administrators and fellowships, information about fellowships. Uh, another service that HEDS provides are the repositories of, uh, of our publications, and as a green organization, the majority are available in electronic uh, format uh, through the website. The, the access to these publications are, again, free of charge. And this includes the head, the head online pronoun, the one in the, uh, in the right, uh, which is our peer review publication. And we also have in the middle the annual report, the repository of the annual report, and also the repository of the head connection, which is our uh, newsletter only for members. Um, these are uh, a, a, these publications are distributed uh, to more than 8,000 member representatives and contacts that we have in our database uh, among all of our member institutions, and also beyond. Uh, some of them, like the annual report and the Heads Online Journal, of course. The the only one who is only for members are the Heads Online. So I invite you, if you want to learn more about it, I invite you to go and browse uh, the annual report and the head connection. And I, we want you to, or oh, encourage you to help us get uh, a high, a original peer review and high quality papers to uh, to take advantage of the head online journal. Uh, this is a publication that is published every semester. Right now, we have received some. Uh, more than five articles that are being reviewed, and the, this, uh, by the end of this month, you will receive the publication for this semester. And we already set up the deadline for the next semester that's going to be February 16th. So you have enough time to invite your faculty and administrators to take advantage of this. This uh, publication, the Online Journal, is included in the same gauge and extra database, publishing databases, so not only our membership gets uh, uh, information from your research, but also uh, uh, the whole world, since these databases are global. Uh, also, another uh, service that HEDS provides is the professional development, what we call events, but those are uh, uh, created to support and complement the training already offered at HEDS member institutions. And of course, members always have a special rate. And this fee uh, for the registration of um, these trainings includes continuing education credits and a certificate. And participants also have the opportunity to network with other colleagues and have access to online platforms that helps them 
acquire the skills necessary to deal with digital native uh, students. And since 2006, they uh, have been able to train more than 1,300 uh, faculty members, administrators, and other professionals, and more than 12,000, uh, well, 1,200 uh, faculty have, um, administrator has received continuing ed uh, education through him. So we encourage you to download our catalog and see we have uh, different trainings in English and also in Spanish. The one in English are in a self-paced modality and we invite you to take advantage of this. The topics of the English ones are regarding assessment and retention, which are one, uh, one of the focus areas of HEP. Finally, special events that HEP has are a events that uh, are one of the priorities of the development and offering uh, HEP's priorities is what is the development and offering of various events throughout the year that are tailored to our members, institution needs and interest. The majority of these events are the offered and sponsored by, by for our corporate partners like Blackboard, Oracle, uh, Educational Dentist, Synthesis and language. But the one, our major event as an organization is the two day conference face to face or virtual that is called the Best Practices Showcase. And um, this year, is, uh, next year, or this academic year in January 14 and 15, 2016, we're having in Puerto Rico face to face. And this event allows head to highlight and celebrate the outstanding work of its member institutions and the each conference showcase more than 30 innovative projects innovative in innovative projects that use technology to achieve achieve his and his student success. And the face to face uh, showcase includes a free of charge exhibitor space at the academic fair that we will have on the night of January 14, which allow members' institutions to outreach for prospective students who want to complete a higher education degree. And this is totally free of charge as part of the benefit. So we encourage you, we already received more than 35 proposals. We are in the process of evaluating those. And at the end of this month, with Gonia, we're going to announce the, who's going to be the presenters. Um, but we encourage you to participate and take advantage of this and, and come to Puerto Rico in January and, and have the opportunity to meet us uh, in person. Well, this is the, the, the end of the summary of our services. If you like it, please, uh, we invite you again to use it. It's only a click away, either in the virtual plaza or in the head website. Please, we encourage you again to share them with your colleagues and your students so they can benefit from it. And finally, send your recommendations or link to additional services that you think that can benefit not only your institution but all HEDS member institutions uh, to info at HEDS.org so we can uh, showcase the service that your institution provides to uh, the virtual plaza so everybody can benefit from it. Uh, it's 629, so we just want to thank, uh, highlight that it has different social media accounts, so you can follow us in the, the, in, the, in the one that you like the most. We have Twitter accounts, LinkedIn, Facebook, Pinterest, Tumblr, and almost every event that HED has been doing in the past are recorded, so we can uh, upload it in our YouTube channel, and you can go and visit our channel and see the ones that we have done in the past. And finally, for more information, again, my name is Juekis Montalvo, and you can send the email to info at heads.org. This email is received by Jolita Castro, our head executive assistant and our moderator today, and uh, by myself. So either your uh, army can reply to you as soon as, uh, as I can. And our new phone. Uh, since we moved in September to the Inter-American University at the Metropolitan Campus here in San Juan, is 787-250-1912, extension 23, 
72 is my direct one, and the list that extension is 2373. So, uh, Terry, uh, please let us know. And uh, now is the time if you have any questions that you may want us to clarify. Please open your phones or your microphones so you can go ahead or either you can uh, put it in the chat, whatever you prefer. Okay. Or any questions? Well, okay. Will this session be alerted to YouTube? Well, actually, since you were uh, a part of the this session, you will receive right away the link to the recording. And we will send the recording to the other persons that we invite, but they will not be able to send it to you. We can try to upload it to our uh, YouTube channel. Okay, we have to check if the format is, uh, is compatible, but I think it is. So definitely, not only you will receive the link, but also we can definitely uh, upload it to our YouTube channel. So you can use it as a reference. And again, you have our email, so you can uh, have more a uh, go and, and and let us know uh, whatever doubts you may have. Okay, but. And I don't want to take you more uh, take from you more time. Since I know you have a very busy agenda. We definitely appreciate your time and your interest in our services and initiatives. And remember that our main goal is to serve your institution, but we need your support to help us uh, uh, promote those services so you can take benefits. Thank you so uh, so much. Thank you for the recommendation. And have a nice afternoon and any other recommendations please let us know okay i will finish the recording now thank you again for your time